Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this stitch. It's a knitted stitch, it only has two rows, all you have to do is repeat these two rows that I'm going to show you, always repeat them. Um, it's not difficult to make, as you, as you go along you see that it's not difficult to make. It's ideal for something, you make something for summer, um, for a scarf, it would be nice for a scarf. Um, it's not that difficult to make. As I told you, all you have to do is repeat always these two rows that I'm going to show you. We start by casting one, um, and for casting one, we have to make stitches multiple of two. So you cast on stitches multiple of two. For those who don't know how to cast on, I have a video how to cast on. I have two two methods how you can cast on. This is one of them, how I like to start uh, my knitting, and there is another method. So, cast on multiples of two stitches. Now we start the first row. The first stitch, as I, I always tell you, in, during the knitting, I prefer not to knit it. I put it directly on the needle. We knit two, one, and two. We put the thread over here put it like that, put one stitch on the needle without knitting it, and we knit the second one. Then, we take the one that we didn't knit here, the stitch, and we pull it over the one that we knitted. Again, we knit two, one, and two. We thread, the thread we put it like this, one we don't knit it, we knit the other one, then we take the stitch that we didn't knit before and we pull it over the other one. Again we knit two, one, and two. The thread like that, one we don't knit it, we knit the other one, and we pull the stitch that we didn't knit over that one. We knit another two, one, and two. Thread like that, one we don't knit it, we knit the other one, and we pull it over the one we knitted. We knit another two, one, and two. Thread like that, we knit one, we, we don't knit one, we knit the other one, and we pull the one that we didn't knit over the one we knitted. Again, we knit two, one, and two. We turn the thread like that. One, we don't knit it. We knit the other one, and we pull it over the one we knitted. And we, we, we're supposed to finish the row. We have one remaining here. And the last one we knitted. I prefer not to knit it from here. The last one from here. I put the needle over here and I knit it like that. And that is the first row ready. We start the second row. The first stitch I never knitted, as I told you before, I put it directly on the needle. And we curl the first two. The next two, one and two. I turn the thread on the needle like that and I purl the next two stitches together. Purl another two, one and two. Turn the thread on the needle like that and purl the next two together. Purl another two, one, two, and turn the thread on the needle and purl two together. Purl the next two, one, two, turn the thread on the needle and purl the next two together. Purl two, one, two, turn the thread on the needle and purl the next two together. Purl another two, one, two, turn the thread together and purl the next two together. And we finish with, with the last stitch there. And I, as I told you, I prefer to always knit it from here. And that is the second row ready. Those are the two 
to two rows that you have to learn then you do again the first row that I made the first row that I made then repeat the second row those are the two rows that you have to know and this is the final result how the pattern the stitch came as you have seen all you have to do is repeat those two, ro two rows that I showed you and, and have, as you have seen it, it's, it's not that difficult to make it's very beautiful um, as a stitch it's very beautiful hope that you found this video useful and that you try it bye for now